Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Bondi Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 4. My dear student, our today's topic is exercise 2.6. CBQ1 will be solved in our class as CW and CBQ2 will be your SW. CBQ2 will be your SW. My dear student, today is our lecture number 9 of half yearly 2021 and today's SW number will be 4. So, my dear student, let us start our class. We have already written CBQ number 1 and CBQ number 2 on the board. CBQ number 1 will be solved in our class and now as CW and CBQ number 2 will be solved by yourself in your SW copy. So, my dear student, at first we read CBQ number 1. Here you notice CBQ 1 and CBQ 2 are taken from the word problem uh, of chapter 2, which has already done in our previous classes. So, CBQ number 1 is Shohag bought a motorcycle by 70,000 taka. It cost 1500 taka for registration and 800 taka for repairing. I repeat, Shohak bought a motorcycle by 70,000 taka. It cost 1500 taka for registration and 800 taka for repairing. My dear student, this is the stem. By using this stem, we shall solve question number A, B and C. The question A is, how much does it cost for registration and repairing question number b how much does it cost for the motorcycle in total okay question number c if he sells the motorcycle for 90000 taka then how much profit will he get okay so how can we solve question number a question number a asks us to find the uh, total amount uh, of cost which is needed for registration and repairing that means for registration 1500 taka is needed and for repairing 800 taka is needed we add these two number and we get the amount of money that is needed for registration and repairing just to do addition we add 1500 plus 1500 with 800 taka okay this is the solution of question number a how can we solve b how much does it cost for motorcycle in total my dear student, he, his buying price is 70,000 taka. This is a cost. And the cost for registration and uh, repairing is obtained from question number A. We add the two number and we get the total amount of cost that he used to buy uh, that motorcycle. Okay. So, question number C. If he sells the motorcycle for 90,000 taka, then how much profit will he gain? By the student from B we get the cost price okay and from C we have already found from the question that the selling price is 90,000 taka so if we subtract cost price from the selling price then we get the profit okay I hope you have understood now we shall solve question number A okay here A is how much does it cost for registration and repairing okay so here I write a number question The cost for registration the cost for registration is fifteen hundred taka. Okay, next the cost for repairing is 800 taka okay now we do addition that means we need to find out the total cost so the total cost is total cost is 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 8 5 jar 8 plus 5 13 carrying 1 1 plus 1 it will be 2 2300 
taka and it is the answer as our solution is done so we must write answer okay if you don't write answer in your answer script you your sub marks is deducted from your answer script okay so this one is done next we shall solve question number b and the question number b ask us to find out the total cost in total cost for the motorcycle my student notice the buying price of the motorcycle is 70000 taka and from a we find the total price for registration and repairing now we add this to data and we get the required answer okay so question number b first of all you write from a we get from a we get from a we get the cost for registration and repairing the cost for registration and repairing is 2300 taka okay now from this step we notice the cost for buying price buying the motorcycle is so first of all write the cost for buying the motorcycle is 70,000 taka now we write the cost for registration and repairing is 2300 taka <coughs> okay now we do addition 00327 72300 taka so the total cost for motorcycle is here we write the total cost for motor cycle is so this is the answer of this question 72300 taka okay dear students i hope you have understood question number a and question number b dear student this is the cost price of the motorcycle this is the total cost price of the motorcycle and from question number c we notice the selling price is 90000 taka so how much profit will he get that means when we uh, profit is happened when when selling price is greater than cost price then profit will be happened so here we need to find out the profit that means here selling price is greater than cost price so we subtract this cost price from the selling price and we get the profit okay so we shall solve question number c now so first of all from b we get we get from b we get the total cost for motorcycle is 72300 taka okay total cost for motorcycle is 72300 taka now the profit is uh, now the profit no 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 dear student here we write the selling price selling price of the motorcycle is 90000 taka here we write now and the total cost price 
for motor cycle is seventy two thousand three hundred taka okay now therefore the profit is profit is we do subtraction zero zero seven carrying on that one is added with this two it will be three three two ten it will be seven and one it will be seven one hundred sorry seventeen thousand seven hundred taka as our solution is done we must write answer okay i hope you have understood cbq number one my dear student this is your cw and cbq number two will be your sw it is she have has taka 390 more than that of gita and Gita has taka 470 less than that of Shimul. Shimul has taka 890. My dear student, this is the stem. By using the stem, we shall solve question number A, B and C. A number question is how much money do Gita have? B number questions how much money do she have? have? C number questions how uh, find out the total amount of Shimul, she have and Gita. Dear student, question number A and B, uh, we, uh, A and B is found by our what problem, which is already done in our previous lecture. Okay, follow that lecture and you can easily find the uh, amount of Gita and amount of Shihab. And C number question is new to you, but here we need to find out the total amount. That means Shimul amount, Shihab amount and Gita's amount. If we add the, uh, at the amount of these three person, then we get the total amount of Shimul, Shihab and Gita. I hope you have understood how to find question number C. So my dear student, you must do this SW carefully in your SW copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every Saturday. Okay. So my dear student, keep practicing at home, abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu alaikum.